Happy New Year, everybody. Um, it is the 11th of January and it's my first trip of 2022. I've come to a little day ticket lake. Um, it's only 10 minutes away, what, 15 minutes away from my house. So uh, I've come to try and catch my first one of, uh, of the year. I'm already on my second swim of the day. I started in uh, swim three, which is uh, got this nice little, I turned up and it was still dark. I've never been here before. And uh, I turned up and I walked around in the dark, did a couple of laps, nothing showing. And I found this little corner, which has got like a little bay and it just looks like all the overhanging trees and the snags. And I thought, oh yeah, it looks perfect for, for January, you know, when you think the fish are gonna hold up in those sorts of areas. Um, so, Walked to my gear around there, I got dropped off because my van's died. Um, feel like a kid again getting dropped off at the lake, it's brilliant. Um, yeah, got dropped off this morning and uh, walked all my gear around. They took me a couple of trips to get all the gear around there because I didn't bring a barracks, so obviously I had to put everything in the car, which was probably a mistake in hindsight. But anyway, yeah, so a couple of trips around, got all the stuff in there into swim three. Had a little flick around with a marker and found that it was really shallow, you know, like the little bay. To my left was all sort of two and a half feet, so obviously it wasn't going to be much good. But I moved further to the right with the marker until I found four and a half, and I thought I'd have a go. Put a couple of blank saver pop ups out there, a little bit of bait around each one, and um, just using crush cell, a little bit of hemp, a couple of tins of corn, and a load of uh, blended bread all mixed in. So the juices and the corn and the hemp and that going to the bread make quite a nice cloudy mix for the wind, have plenty of attraction, not loads, loads of food there really. Anyway, um, I'll give you a bit of background, the reason I'm fishing here is because a friend of mine, Ian, he's fished here a few times and caught a few, and he fished here day after Boxing Day when the weather was, I mean it was, I'm so gutted I didn't get to fish in January, um, 15 odd degrees, we had the warmest New Year's Eve on record. So that shows how, how warm it was for January, but I didn't get to fish, loads going on um, with Christmas and the kids and all that sort of stuff, so, but that's life. Anyway, yeah, he came and he fished and he caught 12, so I thought up to up to mid-20, I think, or something, or low 20, I don't know, something like that. And I know his brother, he's had a 34 out of here in the past, another friend of his had a couple of 30s, so I thought, oh yeah, get a few bites and there's a chance of a half decent one, that will do me. So I thought I'd come down here and do a day session, but it turns out Ian wasn't just here for a day session, he was here for 48 hours. So it um, might be a little bit more tricky than I was first hoping. I was thinking I'd get half a dozen in a day. I'm now thinking if I catch one today, then I'm probably done all right, but we'll see anyway. So yeah, I started off in swim three. Ian phoned me up, he said it's really shallow in that bay. I said, yeah, I found that. And he said, no, he said, I normally fish in a swim uh, further around, like the other end of the lake's deeper. Um, and anyway, it turns out his friends have fished up there and have caught fish, but nowhere near as many as, as down the other end. So I packed up and I moved around. Uh, got my rods out by about half nine this morning, and it's now literally just gone 10 o'clock, one minute past 10. So we'll see. I've got until, I think I'm allowed on it till half five. So I'll probably fish it till half five, uh, as long as uh, it's okay to get picked up around that sort of time. I've gone for one rod down the right hand margin where I know Ian caught a few last time he was here and one rod down the left hand margin it's nice and deep completely different you know I've got the right hand one is probably only eight feet off the bank and that's in seven feet of water on a nice gravelly margin shelf and then the left hand rod's just off the tips of this tree to my left again all gravelly and it's eight foot there so I'll give it a couple of hours I'm literally just sitting here staring at the lake hoping to see something but I'll give it a couple of hours um, see if I can nick a bite off them close in spots and if nothing happens there then I'll maybe have a flick around with a single and see if I can pick something up from further out in the lake. It's got a nice island down in front of me, but apparently that doesn't do or it hasn't done them any bites anyway, him and his friends. Um, but he has caught them sort of halfway or just over halfway across, so I could always have a flick around with a single and play out there. We'll see. But to be honest with you, it's just really nice to be out on the bank first time of the year. And uh, if I catch one, it'll be a massive bonus. Just make me uh, self a cup of tea sit here enjoy this watch the lake i think we're going to have a bit of rain coming in so i might have to put the brolly up in a while but in the meantime yeah i'm just going to sit here and enjoy myself take it all in and uh keep my fingers crossed that something happens and obviously if it does i'll come straight back to you
third and final swim of the day. Uh, I moved about an hour ago, I moved up to swim number eight. Um, I really had nothing to go on to be honest with you. I fished in six purely because that's where Ian had fished when he was here a, a few weeks ago. Um, but it, it was lifeless, nothing happening at all. It's been drizzly on and off all day. And then in one of the breaks in the rain, um, I walked a couple of swims down to this one, which is sort of in the corner, furthest corner from where I started really. And I saw one little patch of bubbles, that was all. Just a teeny little patch of bubbles, half a dozen bubbles come up. And I thought, well, it's more than I've had to go on anywhere else. So I went and got a rod, I came down here, and I sat and waited and then the rain started properly raining and then obviously I couldn't see any more bubbles so I ran back, hid under the brolly for a few minutes, made a cup of tea and then as soon as the rain stopped came back down and I saw two patches of bubbles come up literally two feet apart and I thought it looked a lot more carpy. So anyway yeah, I've, I've put both the rods down here, I've literally cast single hook baits out whenever I've seen a patch of bubbles come up so I'm fishing somewhere near something. I don't know what it is, whether it's carp or not, who knows, but it is the only activity I've seen all day. And I have seen a since then quite a few patches of bubbles come up around this corner, not far out, 30 yards maybe. Um, and I think it's probably carp. Now I'm fishing with X line, so in theory I shouldn't get liners, but after only a few minutes of casting out, my right hand rod did pull up tight and the tip nodded down. So whether I got done, or whether it was just before the line had fully settled and something hit it, but at least it shows there's something around because, like I say, it's the only activity I've seen all day. Um, as I'm speaking now, another patch of bubbles is coming up and it's not a million miles away from my left hand rod, so you never know. I've got uh, two hours almost exactly left until I'm getting picked up. So, yeah, it's going to get dark in the next 45 minutes to an hour, so it might be tricky to film, but. Uh, you never know, let's hope I get one before we go home. If not, I'll see you next time I'm fishing. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed I'll get one. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, the move has paid off. Uh, I'm arms with bless him. Rain still. Um, Yeah, it's only probably 15 pounds, but do you know what? After moving all the, all the amount of times I've moved today in the rain and all that, it just feels blooming great to get one. Absolutely mint mouth. Nice for the first fish out of a lake, but more importantly, my first fish of 2022. There we go. Yeah, he's about 15 pound, I reckon. Yeah, and Ian had said that they're pretty much all commons in here, so it's quite nice to catch a mirror, to be honest with you. First one, 2022. Cheers, mate. since I last got out. It's now the very last day of January. Um, I would like to have got out in the last couple of weeks, but everywhere has been frozen pretty much around me. So uh, it's been tricky. Um, this lake, this little lake I'm fishing now, I actually last fished, I worked it out this morning by looking back through small pictures and things, 28 years ago. Uh, it's only small, it's like a little, uh, probably three quarters of an acre, I would say, something like that and they're predominantly small fish in here but i do know that last year someone caught one that was uh, 28 and a half pounds so there's a few decent ones um no one else here obviously no one else is that stupid because it's still not warm actually today the weather is pretty good it's um i think it's about eight degrees today something like that very windy but i've i'm sort of out of the wind a little bit as it stands at the moment, I've got one rod fishing right in the teeth of the wind off the end of a little bush and the other one on the back of the island in like a little lee, of, lee in the wind. But I'm not sure really whether uh, 
whether I should be completely on the back of the wind or not. It's, it's only a few yards to move to the other end of the lake, so if it comes to it, I'll have a move. I've not got long, I've just got a few hours. I just wanted to try and get out again. Um, while I had a while I had a day because it's been my life's been pretty manic for the last last couple of weeks. So yes, that's where I'm at at the moment. Uh, lovely little day ticket lake. I haven't fished it for a long while, and to be honest with you, it's just nice to be back. I'm not on my own. Um, I'm here with my mate Gary, Gary the Grey Lag. Um, he's been keeping me company. In fact, he's becoming a little bit of a nuisance, truth be told. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get one and. Uh, I don't care how big it is today, it'd just be nice to catch one. And then next time I'll be out, it'll be into February. Uh, where am I going to be going? Oh, yeah, I'm fishing next Sunday with my mate Ian. Um, I'll do it a night next Sunday, so uh, as long as it doesn't get cold and freeze up again, then yeah, we'll be out next Sunday. But until then, I'm just making my first cup of tea of the day. Sit back, have a couple of cups of tea, got a few calls to make, and uh, just enjoy the sunshine. I am off the mark. Um, not a huge fish by any stretch. I'd say it's probably, uh, it's only six or seven pound probably. But, do you know what? I'm still quite chuffed to be honest, because it's uh, a January carp is a January carp. The sun is shining, the fish are feeding. So all is good with the world. Yeah, he's only a little one. But the first bites come within half an hour, so hopefully I can get a few more bites. I might manage to find where the better ones are. That actually came on the right hand rod down the margins, so uh, I may well end up moving the other one, I think, down to the left hand margin. Baited up with a load of blended bread, crushed boilies, sweet corn, a little bit of hemp. And yeah, that's all right. I need you to go and get your great, 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 great granddad. Or grandma. Alright, let's try and get another one. Well, it's been uh, just over an hour since that uh, quick bite that I got round there and the wind picked up and it is freezing round there. So uh, I wound in and had a little stroll round and I've got this little bay now to my left. I've moved to the opposite end of the lake so I'm more on the back of the wind or on the side of it more. I feel a whole load warmer. I feel like it might be more of a place where a, a big and might just be skulking about. So. Uh, I've only got, I don't know, maybe three hours left. But I thought I'd move around here for the last few hours and see if I can nick one. I was still getting the odd line around there, to be honest, but it's just so cold in that wind. Apart from anything else, it wasn't very enjoyable for me. And I would have thought more fish would have tried and back off of it, but it could be a mistake. It does feel a little bit shallow where I'm fishing, so it could be a mistake. But uh, we'll see, I'll give it a couple of hours. I've got time to move again if I need to. It's, uh, it's a shame that it's so windy because I can't obviously watch the water and see any any bubblers or anything like that. So anyway, I'm gonna give it a couple of hours in this new spot, see if I can see if I can get a bite here. If not, maybe I'll be on the move again. But uh, I'll keep you posted. Cool, he's a right old character this one. He's uh, missing some fins and he's all bent up and battered. He's been in here a few years I reckon. He's about 12 pounds so Biggest one of the day so far. Caught in that little bay where I had a feeling that you might find the odd better fish. It's going to be hard to hold this with a weird shape of him. He's uh, got no dorsal fin left. It's all just little spikes. Yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That is one weird carp. But, made me happy. So yeah, about 12 pound. Certainly not gonna be, well, I hope it ain't gonna be the best looking carp I catch this year. But you're welcome all the same. Well pleased with that. Getting back, get the rod back out. Onwards and upwards. Very strange looking creature, aren't you, mate? Yeah. Well, 
since the last fish that I had showed on here, I've caught, this is the third one I've had since then. It's, uh, yeah, it's been pretty blooming hectic, to be honest. Uh, the other two I had were both gnarly old beaten up commons, but uh, this one is still quite an old gnarly looking thing. The other two I had, were, one was uh, about 12 pound again, and then I had a smaller one, about eight pound. This one I would say is probably, it's probably just about 10 pound, maybe, maybe even 11 pound, but he's got a lovely old battered tail and he probably doesn't think it's lovely <laughs> that it's battered, but uh, he's been through the wars a bit, but he's got, he's a lovely scaly fish. He doesn't like my warm hands. There you go. Nice scaly old thing. He's been caught a few times in his days. Pack it up. Yeah. So there you go. That's number six of the day. It's been very good fun. And better than that, I'm still on the same two pop-ups that I started with. <laughs> so I'm not even getting through loads of hook baits, but uh, it's the power of the blank savers, that is. Getting through lots of... Uh, my bait mix. Yeah, he's alright. He's alright. Give it about another hour, I think, so see if I can get another couple in that time before I head for the hills. Awesome. Well, the sun is just starting to dip down below the tree line, as you can see. Um, so I haven't got that long left. It's been about 35 minutes since my last fish. So, uh, I think as it's cooled down and as the sun's not hitting this area of the lake, especially as it's shallow, they have started to move out. There's still the old one about, but I'm going to start making a pack up soon, so uh, hopefully I'll get one more before I go. If not, that'll be it for January. And then, uh, yeah, tomorrow's the 1st of Feb. And uh, I'll start upping my baiting a little bit on Watson's, I think through February, so as long as it doesn't freeze again, as long as we don't have too many frosty mornings, I'll start up in the bait in a little bit. I don't plan to start back there. The night fishing starts again in March. So unless we have any really warm weather, I don't know whether I'll actually fish it through February. I'll probably still do some more of this kind of fishing. Um, I love that this time of year, getting out and just getting some bites, you know, and uh, catching a few fish, no matter what the size, it's nice. Through the rest of the year, you sort of end up fishing places where you're fishing for a bite a night if you're lucky a lot of the places and it's nice to sometimes get out and just catch a few so yeah um i'll give it another 20 minutes here just in case i can get another one so yeah unless i get another bite in the next 20 minutes or so this will be me done and i shall see you for the next installment cheers for watching guys i'll see you later That's a little one, and he's a little one too. He's only seven pound probably. But uh, yeah, good way to finish. Seven fish, lucky seven. Battery's just about to die on the camera. Couldn't have timed it any better. And there we go. Last one of the day. Little one. Right guys, I'll see you in February. <laughs> <laughs>